Po' Boy Special here. You can see there are two columns here. What in the world's going on? Well, here is our traditional wet pack, and here we have two liter containers. We cut the tops off and filled them full of wet pack. Why? All right. We are debating and, and come to our attention that the wet pack has gotten very good results ballistically, and we see a lot of people using these plastic two liter bottles for ballistics and filled them full of water and all kinds of mediums to try and trap bullets. And we were, had the question, well, what's the difference between the two? Are there similar results? Is one better than the other? I don't know. That's what we're going to test. Now we did come to one conclusion though about the plastic two liter bottle. That in a real zombie body there is nothing plastic. And this plastic is kind of thick and kind of tough. So will it give us different, completely different results as far as penetration because of the thick, tough plastic? That's what we're going to find out. All right, we've just shown you that we have our wet pack and our uh, two liter jugs full of the wet pack. What are we going to be shooting? We're going to be shooting this Blazer 22 long rifle. It's a lead round nose. Right there it is. Be shooting it out of the small North American Arms Black Widow. Now this Blazer is a 40 grain bullet. 40 grain bullet. All right, so let's see what it's going to do to 20 one almost 22 inches of wet pack and 21 22 inches of the two liter plastic bottles all right let's get to it all right same distance same ammo same weapon let's see what kind of results we get from each one wet pack first all right next comes the jugs. All right, let's go see what kind of difference or not difference we saw. Our first of all, the two liter, the plastic. We see an entrance hole here, right there, and we do see an exit here. So it went through the first one. On the second one, we do see an entrance here. and an exit here. But on the third one, which we haven't touched, we're just bringing it forward. I don't feel anything, I don't see anything, there's no hole, completely untouched. Where the bullet went, I'm not sure. It may have tumbled or twisted and gone sideways and gone out somewhere else. We don't see anything on the backstop, so I'm not sure. So all we got is two jugs, and if you want to know how much that is, just for two alone, back to back like that, the distance would be about nine inches. So about nine inches of penetration through the plastic jugs and the wet pack. Now let's go on over the wet pack and see what we got. Here's the entrance, let's keep going move them one by one definite exit definite entrance into the second pack all right let me set these over here removing the second one there's an entrance into the third one here let's see if we keep going we have a slight exit and so we've got three so far, maybe four, maybe. Let's keep going. Oh yes, we have entrance into the fifth, so yes, it did go through. All right, we're down to the 10 inch mark and we started at 21, 22. So we're already past 12 inches of penetration on the wet pack here. And it looks like it went out the side. Looks like it went out the side. Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't. Let's keep going. Look at that. Oh, and I heard it drop. 
I heard something drop here. But look at that channel right there that it did along the side. All right, let's see if we can find the bullet. All right, something very interesting. I'm going to turn this sideways. You can see that the last brick went all the way through it, and guess where the bullet is? Right there at the crack in between the backstop. Right there it is. I'm going to dig it out, but I just wanted to show you where it was. There's no hole in the backstop, so that's why they call it a backstop. So let's go dig that out. All right, we had kind of an inconclusive result on our plastic jug, so we're going to re refire it, retest it. So here we go. We've turned the jugs that had the holes in them sideways, so now that the holes are facing that way, so when we get a hole right now, we can see it, and we can tell which is which. All right, so let's do it again. From the same distance, same weapon, same ammo, we're going to try this again and see if we can find a bullet in this these jugs. All right. All right, we got something. <laughs> All right, let's go see what the results we get. All right, like I said, we had the same 21 inches here. Here's our entrance. And yes, we have an exit here. That's the first one. Entrance here. Exit, yes, here. Right there. All right, third one. This is where we got lost last time. We couldn't find anything. Let's see if we can find anything on the third one here. Nothing. Nothing. No holes. No nothing. Did not make it to the third one. So, so far the conclusion that we've made is through the wet pack it made it all the way to the backstop, 21, 22 inches. Here so far all we're getting is maybe 8 inches and we can't find the bullet. So let's go back to the second one and dig through and maybe it's in here. Alright, here is our last bottle here. There is, There are no holes on it whatsoever. None. I'll keep spinning and keep spinning. Oh, the sun popped out. No holes whatsoever. So we fired a total of three rounds through these bottles. None of them, none of them got to the last bottle. So did this affect our penetration levels? Why, yes it did. And we dug through the third bottle and we did find the bullet so there it is that was through the third bottle all right we'll set it down here so what kind of difference will it make at least four and a half inches maybe five inches difference between plain old wet pack and using a plastic bottle so the plastic bottle because of its thickness because of its toughness and because of the material that it's made of there's nothing plastic in a human or zombie body or animal or anything you're gonna get a difference of at least four and a half maybe five six seven inches penetration difference from this 22 long rifle blazer bullet so we just wanted to test it and see what kind of difference we'd get between regular wet pack and using plastic bottles. Now you know why we don't use plastic bottles anymore and we went straight to wet pack because this is going to give you completely different results. Hope that helps. Hope that solved some issues, maybe uh, caused some more issues. Who knows? But you saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel.